everyone. This is David Arnold, and I'm at uh, Goose Lake, which is in the Gold Lakes region of the Sierra Nevada mountains. And uh, I'm here to photograph this uh, bonsai-like pine, which is back behind me. I'm using my view camera, which I have set up here, and I'm going to show you in just a moment how uh, to use a view camera, show you some of the characteristics of it. One of the advantages of a view camera is that you can use multiple media, and I'm going to be photographing it with this traditional film holder, but I have loaded, rather than film, I have loaded uh, silver gelatin paper in it, which I'm going to be uh, developing as a normal piece of paper, a photographic paper, and then scanning that into Photoshop and further manipulating it. I also have this uh, ancient Polaroid land film holder that I have some Polaroid 559 film in it, and uh, I'm going to be putting it here in the back of the view camera. In just a moment I'll show you how that all works. So come on over here and we'll look underneath the, uh, the black cloth and see what it looks like behind a view camera. Okay now we're looking under the legendary black cloth of a view camera and we're seeing the uh, camera obscura effect. This is essentially a camera obscura and we're seeing the image uh, upside down and laterally, laterally reversed. This is how we see images uh, in, in the back of our eyes, but our minds are able to turn everything right side up and uh, correct for the lateral reversal. So uh, this is, uh, presents challenges for um, setting up a composition. Um, you can see on the back there's some um, grids there which help to align the image. And uh, we also have the ability to, with the view camera, to move the standards back and forth here. Slide it back and forth. And we can also rotate it like, like, like so, up and down, to, cre to change how the image is going to look, depending upon our scene. We have a pretty straightforward shot here, so that's not going to be a problem here. So again, that's what it's going to look like. Okay, here we have the front standard of the view camera, with the lens and the lens board on it. The front standard, like the back standard, could be moved, like so, and it can be slid like so, to adjust for uh, compositional changes. Okay, so we're set it here in the center. Uh, the lens, the, Im the camera is focused by moving this little dial, either the front or back standard. Okay, the controls on the lens are, okay, so we want to set this little red dot here over to the T. That allows us to open up the lens, which lets light in, and we can focus it on the on the back standard. When we get done with focusing, we s s close up the lens and we can change our shutter speeds by moving the dials over here. From This one goes from 400 to 1 second and that's also a bulb setting. And our aperture settings are on this white dial here. We cock the lens by, cock the shutter by moving it over like that and this little thing trips it over here. There's a um, cable release that screws into this little piece here that forces down the shutter release, like so. Okay, the lens can be easily removed by pushing this bar up, carefully pulling out the lens. You can easily put in another lens. This is a 90 millimeter lens, really nice uh, Schneider lens. So I'm going to drop it in like so and pull the bar down and uh, we're ready to go with the 90 millimeter lens. As I mentioned before, one of the advantages of using a view camera is to be able to use multiple medias. You can photo photograph, for example, with black and white and color film. Uh, different types of instant films can be used here. Um, this is the standard um, film holder, and it goes inside the back of the, behind the screen. You force it down like so. Um, with the lens closed down, when you get ready, you pull up this shield and you trip the shutter, do your exposure, and you push this back down. You can uh, do two exposures with this. There's two of them here. We can flip it around, slide it back in, and again pull the shield back up and uh, take our exposure and put the shield back down. Okay. I'm going to show you what a Polaroid back looks like too. 
This is a, a Polaroid back with some expired Polaroid 559 film. This is a real big assembly. So um, I slide it behind the screen, slip it, slip it down like so. Um, when it's set, I pull this paper up. I'm not going to do it now because uh, it, it's, Polaroid's a little bit uh, fussy and you don't want to do it too many times. So I'm, I'm not going to do it until I actually do the exposure. But you pull it up, the shield up, and then expose it. It, it reveals the film. You do your exposure and, uh, and you just uh, pull it back out and uh, put in another uh, piece of film if you uh, need to. So that's uh, a look at our view camera. I'm going to go ahead and take a, a, a photograph of this tree because the light's looking really good now. And uh, we'll uh, see what my, my examples look like.